Well, hello there, folks. Welcome to another episode of Cabin Adventures. Today, we got something different for you. Very, very different. We're going ice fishing. We are going on to the Bay of Quinty to snag some Quinty gold. We'll catch you guys out there. So as you folks saw, we're at uh, different cabin adventures. We're actually staying at the Best Western this weekend. We're, uh, it's nice and close to the, the harbor there, which we're gonna set out to, and we're gonna fish uh, about a kilometer out on the lake. And there we go, the start to the weekend. Well, it's nothing but the best for us tonight, folks. So we're going to head over across the street to the Shoeless Joe's, as you can see. Grab some grub, have a couple of pints. We're also tuning into the Olympics. The old Olympics in China this year, in Beijing. So as I mentioned, we're going to head on out there, have a couple of pints, and we'll see you there. <laughs> So predictions for the weekend, Ryan. Uh, six fish on the ice tomorrow. Uh, that's a very ambitious uh, prediction. But uh, you know what? The, the, the losing streak. No team in history has ever lost every single game ever. So I'm, I'm feeling good about tomorrow. So uh, six fish on the ice. Uh, three to be cleaned in the hotel room. Don't tell the best Western of Belleville that. And uh, we'll give you an update when the, the deed is done. But uh, for now, six fish. Well, we made it back. To the cabin. Well, I guess the hotel room. We are. Uh, we're gonna saddle up here, get ready for bed here shortly because 6 a.m. is gonna come very quick. We'll catch folks in the morning. Well, good morning, folks. 6 a.m. Good sleep, but it's time to do some ice fishing. We're gonna head up the tack shop first, pick up some tackle, but first. Coffee. So, two coffees and bottle of water, right? No, three coffees. Well, with the minnows purchased, coffee's going down. It's time to hit the ice. Well, as the sun begins to rise, we're almost there. Well, Ryan. Well. Well. Tent set up. Tent set up. Heater's going. Heat's How are we feeling? Uh, well, I'd feel better if we had some fish on the ice, but hey, it's early. We're getting there. It's uh, we're, we're set for success. Now all we need is some some fish. So, uh, hopefully, we'll have an update for the folks later. So I just came out here to set up the jaw jacker, but uh, as you folks can see by my face, perhaps by the wind, it is quite nipply out here. I think it's about minus 17. Feels a lot cooler than last weekend when we went out to Orangeville, uh, the Island Lake Conservation Area. But, uh, and that was minus 26, but uh, today the problem is that we 
have a heck of a wind coming from the north, so making it a wee bit chilly. She's still seeing there though. So slow day of fishing so far in here, but so we got a neat setup going on here. We have the Garmin Striker 4 with the ice transducer. We have the catch on automatically jigging a spoon with a minnow head uh, on the end here. And uh, yeah, sitting toasty here. What, what's uh, let's take a gander at the temperature minus 16 outside, plus 14 inside here. So, and that's actually on the walls, so I'm sure that it is much warmer. We were to set this thing up in the middle. middle. So perhaps we'll do that. And we'll give you folks an update. One, one would go for a nap right now. <laughs> well, it looks like we got ourselves a first fish. Yep. We got ourselves a pretty small perch. That's, uh, that is about one, maybe even a, a, a bite and a half. <laughs> Whoop, and he's back down the hole. <laughs> All right, we're on the board, boys. We're on the board. Well, Ryan, perch number two. Yeah, I'm not real for certain that wasn't the same fish as the first one, but uh, twin brother for sure. But we're on a school of perch right now, which is uh, pretty awesome. So we, uh, we're still marking here too. So we are in hour four of this fishing trip here. Ryan's on the board with two. And Mio and I are at nothing. Hopefully prime time suits us better. Time for lunch. Some meatballs in a mushroom sauce. A little perch? Yeah. I think. Oh, what, what's the snag going on there? Oh, I lost the bastard. That's what I was like. Go slow. Uh, Is it yeah. a perch? Yeah. Number three. For you, Rye Guy. Yeah, let me get a foot and dental check here. Oh, come on. So the Great Lakes right there. The whole pile of them down there. Yeah, I don't know, like, what do you guys think? Are these worth keeping? I don't know. I don't know. Need a whole shit pile of them. Here you go. See you later. Get them. Michael's caught his first one. Woo! Look at that monster. Nice release. Nice release. Yeah. <laughs> Let him go. Let him grow. That's what I say. <laughs> so mine is the cold. It's an absolutely beauty of a day.
And another one for Michael. Ryan caught a keeper just a few minutes ago. I still haven't caught anything. I'm starting to get worried here. <laughs> Great. Well, folks, we got one. That is actually a keeper perch. It's a beauty. As you can see, multiple stripes. This guy has six stripes. Nice one. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> So we are testing out right now, but it's pretty rough. It's cold. That's for sure. Trying to make it back. Well, we made it after that very difficult walk. Well, I'll toast you warm in the car now, but that was a hell of a trek. <laughs> you know your Canadian went. Well, gents, toasty inside in the car. What are your thoughts on the day? Pretty good. Caught a fish. Caught a bunch of fish, actually. Go home and clean some fish and drink a little rye, I think, is uh, of the order right now. Warm up a bit, too. What's on the menu tonight? So, Ryan, three pounds of wings. You ready? I've been ready for this for a few hours. This is going to be good. Wouldn't want to be a chicken wing right now. <clears throat> Slowly fighting through. I got two pounds, which is far more than I usually get. <laughs> With a belly full of wings, we're really slowing down. Yeah. <laughs> Twelve hours on the ice will uh, will uh, will put you in a slight coma. <laughs> That was 12 hours, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Yeah, pretty wild there. Well, in a fancy establishment like the Best Western in Belleville, you get the luxury of filleting fish in the bathroom. Here we go, Ryan. Here we go. How are we feeling? I feel like we're going to clean some fish. Some of Quinny's finest. This one's, I'd be interested to see what's in this one's gut, because it's like, it's pretty, pretty gorgeous, it's pretty fat, even mm -hmm. munched on something. So we're cleaning the meat off now, trying to get as much meat as possible with them. One side. Most possible option. Just cut that out. And set that upside down. And the same thing with this one. The meat from three fish. There we go. Nice and done. After a nice quick shower, time to hit the hay. We'll catch you folks in the morning. Well, good morning, folks. Time to pack her up and hit the ice one more time for the day. Well, headed out of the parking lot of the Best Western. Real cabin experience. But not really. I enjoyed it. It was good times. Clean, clean establishment, that's for sure. Following COVID protocols. <laughs> Speaking of COVID. <laughs> Well, we are inside. Ryan's making him some, some coffee. Michael, any bites this morning? 
And one little nibble. Ryan had one as well. Yeah, that's fish. We had some quick marks, but that was about it. Some little guys. They're fishies. So far, so good. Well, there we go. Fish number one for the day. Beautiful perch. Yeah, she's pretty chunky. That's nice. Well, number two, Michael. Three. 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 <laughs> yes. Not the monsters we wanted, but mm, this is something. So definitely another windy day out here. huts on the ice. Not too, too many. Those guys over there are packing up. We're going to do the same in about an hour, hour and a half time. The boys have some action in there. Well, some of the finest perch at the finest of the Scottish establishments. Tastes like the bait of plenty. Well, on that note, time to end this adventure. From Mio, Ryan, and I, thanks for joining us. We'll see you on the next one.